Hello, bar haters, and welcome to another Find We Hit Bars Let's Play. I'm Ben, and this is Pokemon Leaf Green. In follow-up to a series we have done earlier on the channel, because if you'll recall, if you've been with the channel for a while, there was a time, I think it was about a year ago, Matt and I actually did a series on the channel wherein we played Pokemon Red version with a, uh, what's the word I want to use here, with um, a couple Stigma. And the Stigma was, or two, two of the Stigma, actually. One of the Stigmas, as I realize I can't talk here, uh, one of the Stigmas was that we were going to play using the Nuzlocke rule set. <clears throat> which, some, which any of you who play Pokemon before should be familiar with. If not, I'll explain the rules as we go. But the other thing we're doing is I'm using is I used a randomizer. I randomized all the Pokemon in the game to really make it more difficult on me because I wanted to make Pokemon Red fresh again. I wanted to like really try and test my ability to think outside the box and make things challenging on myself. <clears throat> so I did that, and it still ended up being kind of easy. So I thought, well, what if I do it again? But rather than using Pokemon Red, which is a game I know, I know the most specifically I know the Pokemon in Pokemon Red very well. What if rather than just using the Pokemon in Red alone, or Gen 1 alone, I use Pokemon for the first three Gens? Hence, Leaf Green. So I still know the game fairly well. I still know the flow of the game, the layout, like, you know, what constitutes different areas and how you get everything set up. But, the difference is that, um... Sorry, I'm trying to move something here. The difference is that, um... <clears throat> this time... I, I, I still I don't have uh, as much knowledge of the actual Pokemon themselves as I would normally because there are going to be different Pokemon in here because it, it could be any Pokemon from any three any, any three generations. So we're going to see how well I can deal with this, and we're going to put my um, or put my knowledge to its limit, I guess, and um, see how far I can get in this. And I didn't actually think of a good name for this. Um, generally, I put more thought into this, but. Uh, Fuck it, I guess I just couldn't be asked this time. Let's see, so what is your name? <clears throat> so we will be Hitler. Defeating this guy. Oh. I wonder if I have enough to put in his first name. There we go. It's going to be World War II from a different perspective. Actually, about naming my guy Hitler, apparently there are still Hitlers around, and they get, like, in a lot of trouble just for being named Hitler. Which kind of sucks, because it means that, you know, one psychopath ruined a word or a name. The name that other people, lots of other people at the time had, and ruined it forever. Oh, well, let's just go and do this thing. So while Oak is talking me through all this, um, basically... There are several rules to a Nuzlocke round. The first rule is, um, if your Pokemon die at any point, um, if they faint, it's instant game over. You have to start the whole thing again. <coughs> Sorry, not what I meant. That and thinking of the Fallout New Vegas Hardcore Permadeath Run. If your Pokemon faint, they're dead. Um, it's, it's a permadeath for Pokemon, not for you so much. Um, but if all your Pokemon faint, then what happens, like, again, you gotta get rid of them. Wow, I'm failing here. If a Pokemon faints, it is dead. You have to get rid of it using the computer interface. There we go. So, that's the first rule. Um, the second rule is that anytime you go into a new area, and I will specify like what I mean by area, but anytime you enter a new area, you can only catch one Pokemon in that area. And different people have different, like, Variances of what they mean by like area. Generally, I, I term it by anywhere that there is a different Pokemon setup, and I'll, I'll get more in detail with that as we go. It's probably gonna be a while before it even comes up. But anytime like there's a new, uh, not even a new patch of grass, like a new kind of 
area, you can only catch one in there. The f and it's got to be the first one you encounter. So that's another rule. Um, I also am not going to be starting or enforcing that until after we get Pokeballs. Because otherwise I'll miss out on an entire area almost guaranteed. And um, I think those are the only two big ones. If any other ones come up, but th those, are the basic, those are the big basic ones. Pokemon faints, it's dead, get rid of it. Uh, and if, you're, if you catch a Pokemon, or if you encounter a Pokemon in an area first, you can either catch it or not catch any Pokemon in that area. So th those, are, those are the two big rules. As for the randomizer, here's what I randomized. I randomized three starting Pokemon. I randomized all the trader Pokemon, including gym leaders. I randomized all the items in the game. I randomized which TMs and HMs there are. And I randomized Pokemon in the random areas, or in all the areas there are. So those are the uh, the random elements. I also did the change of possible evolutions option, which means that if I get a Machop, say for example, and I level it up to, I think, 18, 18 or 20, it'll level into a... No, Machoke, because Machoke can't evolve into Machamp without being traded. I changed that. At level 35, Machoke evolves into Machamp. Same with Haunter into Gengar, and the other two that I can't remember right now. So those are, those are the changes I made. Anywho, let's see what Pokemon we have to start out. So Hitmonlee is the first one. And, um, we might go with Hitmonlee. And then the second one we got is Crokinaw. Uh, I, I like, I like Totodile. Um, it kind of sucks that I'd have to miss out on Totodile to get Crokinaw, but that's fine. Third one, what the fuck? So I want you to understand that the look on my face is one of extreme glee right now. Like, Zapdos is legitimately my favorite Pokemon ever of all time. I fucking love Zapdos. I'm so ha- Like, the other ones don't even compare. Fuck this, I'm claiming Zapdos. Um, what do I even want to name him? I think I normally name him basically the same thing. Oh. There's nowhere near enough space to make this stuff cool. There we go, Thunderbird. Actually, should I just name him T-Bird? Because then we can have fun, fun, fun until a random battle takes my T-Bird away. I do not apologize for that joke. If you didn't laugh, then, you know, I guess you're no longer welcome in the channel or something. You're, you're banned. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Alright, and he'll take Krokona for reasons. I mean, I guess Zapdos would have an advantage against either one of those, so... Whatever. So let's battle the Pokemon. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, I don't care. I know how Pokemon battles work, so we'll Thundershock. And down he goes. And he grew to level 6. Alright, so as I said, I'm basically just gonna... Oh, she's gonna give me the running shoes, is she? Oh. Oh no, she's just gonna tell me how to open the menu. And I'm not gonna be fighting anything in here. I don't think it's fair to allow myself to level grind if I'm not gonna enforce the rules yet. Wow, Zapdos out here. Zapdos as far as the fucking eye can see, man. With any luck, that'll probably be the thing I end up being able to catch, even. Um, let's heal up. I don't think I took any damage, but whatever. And he'll give me Oak's Parcel. Wait, there's a level 2 and a level 3 Zapdos in here? Wait a second. I think I know what happened. Whoopsies! I made a whoopsie. Oh well, I'm, I've am i already taken it in and I've got very limited time to record today, so that's just going to be the run now. Normally, I think I do like unchanged and I just do a random like everything in an area. I think for this I did one-to-one -one area mapping. So let me explain what that means. Actually, one second, some dude's mowing the lawn outside. Sorry about that, I had the window open because it's really freaking hot today. And, um, yeah, my neighbor decided it was a good time to mow his lawn. 
Never mind. So, where, where are we at right now? Um, one to one mapping, what that's gonna mean. Because I originally had it set up not to be one to one mapping, I had it set up to be, um, or I wanted to have it set up to be just completely random. But the way it works is, in the game files, every individual Pokemon you encounter is a different, like, different asset. And I'm not even just talking like, you know, oh, well, you know, you got Rattatas and Pidgeys. A level 3 Rattata is different than a level 4 Rattata in the game files. <coughs> so if you have a possibility to catch a level 2, level 3, or level 4 Rattata here, or a level 2, level 3, or level 4 Pidgey here, that's 6 slots available for randomization. And if you do completely random, that's 6 random, complete, completely random Pokemon that'll show up in this field. Um, two of them will be level 2, two of them will be level 3, two of them will be level 4. I believe that's... I believe that's the, all the Pokemon you can catch here. And so on and so forth. Any t any Pokemon at a different level is considered a different slot. What one-to-one -one mapping does is it basically means that the Pokemon that would normally be Pidgey, the, even though they're different slots, they're all the same Pokemon. So it maps um, one Pokemon into all three of those slots, just at different levels. Which I didn't particularly want to do. Now, I didn't do global one-to-one -one mapping. So if I catch a Pidge so if there's Pidgeys here, and there would theoretically also be Pidgeys in um, Viridian Forest. There won't necessarily be the same Pokemon that got mapped to a Pidgey here as there will be mapped to the Pidgeys in Viridian Forest. There'll be different ones there. But, it does mean, if I only find Zapdoses and um, Beautiflies here, that's all that's going to be here are Zapdoses and Beautiflies. Which means, I can catch a backup Zapdos for just in case this Zapdos dies. But that's about it. Um, because I don't even know what I'm going to do with a fucking Beautifly, and I hope... Oh, man, I really hope that doesn't screw up the rest. I was hoping for, like, completely random for more variants. This might almost be more challenging to do it this way. Uh, I think at this point I have Pokeballs, because I think Oak gives me some. He does not in the original Gen 1 versions, but he does in this. Yep, and my option was to find a Zapdos, so... I guess we're just going to catch another Zapdos, because... There we go. Um. No, we can nickname it. You'll be backup T Bird. You'll be you'll be the cool the T Bird in a slightly less cool color. Yeah. Cause again, I can't imagine what I was gonna do in a, with a beautiful eye. All right. I'm gonna go heal up my Zapdoses, my Zapdos brothers. Um, let's also grow and grab my first item, which is a Nomel Berry. I have no idea what that even does. So many freaking berries added in Gen 3 that I have no idea what they do. Can be ground up into powder as an ingredient for... I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to do. Oh! One other thing we need to do. Go and buy... I'm actually not going to buy entirely po Normally I just buy all the damn Pokeballs this time. I'm actually going to leave... Um... Leave room in case I need to buy some potions. Because I very well may need to buy some potions at some point. Uh... Yeah, da, 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 da. So I now have, uh, 13 Pokeballs should be. What's the next Pokemon I can catch? A Shiftry. Ooh, not bad. Let's see if I can get him with... I don't want to accidentally kill him, so let's see if I can catch him at yellow health. Yes! Got him! Alright, I'm not going to nickname him because I don't actually know. I remember him from uh, Red Rescue Team, which I did play a little bit. And yeah, he's a grass dark. Not bad. Uh, what is he? he starts up with pound, harden, growth, and nature power. So he has pound, which is a decent damaging move. Oh, what is... I forgot, I gave them randomized items to start. So what, uh, what item does he have? The white herb. What does that even... Again, things I have no idea what they do. What is a white herb? Restores any stat lowered in battle can only be used once. So, this area has Shiftries and Nido Kings. Oh, shit. So I'm going to do this very carefully so I don't waste any steps because I don't want Zapdos dying. And then I'm going to put other Zapdos in the PC. Ah, 
I forgot poison could be a thing. There's stuff with poison in here, so screw the potions. I'm actually going to buy tons of antidotes. Actually, I'm going to buy seven antidotes and just the one potion. I'm also going to get... Where is it? Because I know I have one. we go here. Into the PC. Nope, not someone... Not Bill's PC. It's going to be mine. And item storage. We're going to withdraw the potion that starts in here. Because you do start out with a potion in storage. I don't know why you start out with it in storage. Even in the original game, I think that was a thing. Like, if you went to your computer, there'd just be a potion in there. And he's going to show us how to catch Pokemon. Don't care. As I mash my keyboard... Additionally, um, because the next several series we're going to have, you're going to hear a little bit of keyboard for this one. Actually, this is the only one you're going to hear keyboard mashing ever again, because I just got a, um, I just got an Xbox 360 controller. Finally, I hadn't had one for a while. I had that really shitty knockoff third-party PS3 one. But I finally went out and got an actual Xbox 360 one that's working really, really well. And, um, so yeah, that's going to be the official one we use for... The official one I use for Fallout New Vegas from here on out. Oh, well, sorry, something popped up. Let's do a pop up. Um, yeah, so the official one for Fallout New Vegas and the series that's going to come immediately after that. Because um, I don't know how much longer Fallout New Vegas is going to last with dead money being where it is. I got through the first part, all right. We'll see how I go from there. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, dead money or. Er, Fallout New Vegas will probably be coming to an end soon. And the other one we got coming up, I don't think it's actually going to have gone live by the time this goes out. Because I'm recording this several weeks in advance, so I almost guarantee the next series I want to do won't have been, won't be up yet by the time this goes up. Oh right, this is a new thing I can catch. I really hope it's not vulnerable to flying types. Oh, it is a flying type. Oh shit. Well, this is starting out not great. I'm definitely starting feeling underpowered. Good thing I have my Zapdos to keep to keep me to get my back. Otherwise, it'd be really, really bad. Cause yeah, whatever else I catch in the next area is basically that Zapdos and Shiftry are going to be my party for the next little bit. I mean, I guess I have one more chance to retry this area, retry things on the other side of Radiant Forest, cause I count the grass patch. On the other side of Iridium Forest to be a different, you know, different area to this. Some people don't. I, I do, and that's, this is where we kind of come into a difference. Um, I'll kind of explain my reasoning. To me, they feel like two different areas, even though they have basically the same Pokemon in them. And um, yeah, Mount Moon's gonna be like that too, because Mount Moon I technically count as like I think three different areas is what I, is what I use to count it as. Oh fuck! It put me to sleep. Yeah, right now I'm just level grinding on Zapdos to get him up to a decent level. Um, which admittedly isn't great, because it means I'm not going to be able to do much. Let's put up Shift Re for... Actually, yeah. Let's level up Shift Re just a little bit. Just enough so I know he won't die. Ooh, where do I even want to... How does he do against Granbull? Okay. Zapdos, go deal with this. Please, thank you. Zapdos, please come out and deal with this. Oh, Shifter grew up, leveled up twice. Okay. So I think I can deal with Shifter being level 5. He should... That should be... How much... Oh yeah, he can take a bit more... He can take a couple hits now. And if I need to, I can use a potion. Alright, so next Pokemon I'm going to get is going to be an Abra- Oh! He's going to teleport and he's going to succeed. Unless I can catch him. Hold my breath and pray. Yes! Ho oh! ho I got him! I got fucking Abra. <clears throat> I'm going to call you Miracle. Which is sounds fucking stupid, but hey, me catching you is a fucking miracle. I'm okay, I'm okay with being being like a I don't even know like a pussy nerd because I'm happy about that. I cannot believe I have a freaking Abra. Okay, this is not bad at all. 
I, I was worried that I was going to catch something shitty, like it, it was just going to be, well, like a Weedle or something that would normally be in there. Or, I don't even know what else would be like so shit that I couldn't even use it. I'm trying, I'm actually trying to go out of my way now to think of like, one thing that couldn't be, because even a magic carp would be nice, because if I, you know, if I did the throwing it out and level grinding it by throwing another Pokemon out in its place, I could still get a Gyarados eventually, and I fucking love Gyarados. But I feel like if I have um, a Zapdos and a Psychic type, who admittedly I don't think Alakazam is the strongest Psychic type. Oh, he's definitely not the strongest psych Psychic type to date, um, out of all eight gens that there have been. But even to this point in Gen three, I don't think Abra or Alakazam is the strongest Psychic. So yeah, that's gonna be um, that's gonna be my team for a little bit, and I think I'm perfectly okay with that if I'm honest. Uh, I will need to get. Especially Zapdos and Abra leveled up. Shiftry I'll try to level up a little bit, because it'd be nice to have a decent plant type. And plant dark seems like or grass dark seems like actually a powerful combo. I mean it starts out with like a lot of I don't know, kinda of, a lot of useless techniques other than pound. But presumably if he levels up enough, he'll gain the abilities he would have normally gained if he had start because he's I know he's an evolved Pokemon. Good uh, I don't know when he starts. I don't know anything else about Shiftry and his evolution tree. Other than he was in Pokemon Red Rescue Team as like a villain, not er, I guess not really villain so much as a mercenary type, which I can't really blame him for. Anyway, though, anyway, anyway, we are about 20 minutes in. I'm gonna try and keep these videos the same length as the other videos, which means there's gonna be a bit less content in them. There's gonna be a lot more of me just stumbling and mumbling as I kind of go through this. I'm gonna have to find a lot of ways to add filler because otherwise this is gonna be just watching me level grind for 20 minutes at each at a time, and then occasionally fighting a thing. <clears throat> but I'll try and find ways to make it interesting, and keep them right around this length. And uh, next time we will we'll try to get through Viridian Forest, I'm going to need to level grind my guys quite a bit. That's all going to be on screen, just so you guys can see that I'm not bullshitting, that I'm not like cheating or doing anything crazy. This is, you know, is going to be an entirely evidenced, witnessed run, with no editing, no additional stuff. So, when you start out, you will see me. Where will I be? For reference purposes. I will be right here, by this tree, facing this way. I'll be two spaces away from this tree because I can't just face in a direction for reasons. So yes, I'll be right here when you come back. In the meantime, thanks as always for watching, guys. I was Ben, and this was Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke Randomized. See you next time, everyone.